Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. I'm Frosty Gaming, and today we're gonna start developing some stuff, you know, because I've done enough of the basic tutorials. I think that you guys probably know enough to start getting into the nitty gritty and making a game. So, we're just gonna do something basic today. We're gonna set up our first scene. So, what do we need in this scene? We need, well, we've got a camera, we've got this blue background. It's not very pretty. There's nothing in it. So let's put some stuff in it. If we go to game object, create other. And we can do a lot of stuff, but why don't we just make a cube first? Alright. So we've got our cube. Again, doesn't really do anything. But we're gonna make this our floor. So if we go R, scale, and we scale it out, and we can actually scale it so it's a lot skinnier, and bring it down a bit so that it's underneath the camera. Now we have our little floor, and we can actually bring the camera up a little bit. rotate it forward a little bit so it's looking down on the scene all right now this is uh, this is all right but let's let's go ahead and put another cube in there just because and we can move it forward a little bit move it up all right now obviously you see this isn't uh, this isn't on the ground, but it's not like falling when we press play. And you know what? It's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to go ahead and put a light in there. Directional light. Now, if you've seen my video on lights, then you know that moving this around doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put it off to the side so that it doesn't interfere with what I'm doing. And I'm actually going to take the intensity down a bit. All right. So now we can kind of see where the cube is and the platform. But again, this doesn't have any physics on it, this cube. It's just where we put it. It's not falling. You know, it. we're going to make this our player. So we kind of want it to move around. And we can go ahead and rename this player. Rename this uh, floor. And directional light can stay there. Main camera can stay there. But for our player, we're going to want to go to Component, Physics, Rigid Body. Now this will add a rigid body component to our cube, which means it's going to be able to use physics, and it's going to be able to bump into things and move them around, and it's going to use gravity. So when we play it now, it falls down to the ground. It's still kind of hard to see. I guess I'll, I'll bump that up to 0.5 again. still kind of hard to see because they're the same color. So you know what we can do? We can put uh, a different color on this cube. Let's make it a different color. Let's make it blue. All right. So if we go into our assets folder, we can create, I'm going to create a folder called materials. And then I'm going to create a material, new material. We'll call it uh, blue, right? So right now this is just a blank material, it doesn't have any texture or color in it, it's just white. But if we go to the color and we bring it up to blue, now it's blue. And there's a couple different ways we can put this onto the cube. We just move it onto the cube like that. We can bring it up to player and put it on that way. And if we look at the player now, he has this component, blue. It has this component, I guess. It's not really a he, it's just a... I guess a blue is kind of a male color, but anyway. <clears throat> so now we can tell the difference between this and the platform. Alright, and you know what, just because I want to, I'm going to create a material for the platform as well. And 
and make it like a darkish red. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. Like a, like a gray. Yeah, that's fine. And if you saw there, uh, I changed the color, and it was this material was attached to this, and it automatically changed it in our scene. So I didn't have to reapply it, which is nice. Alright, so we got our first scene here, and not much is happening. This cube's falling. I'm going to go ahead and actually watch this cube fall a little bit further down. Alright, that's all we've got. Not very exciting, but uh, in the next video, I'm going to put on a player controller so you can actually move this cube around. And we're going to start working with scripts. So instead of actually like changing the environment, we're going to give it some kind of functionality. And that's what the programming's for. That's what uh, scripting's for. And so join me next time, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.